I guess I just don't see it. I, I don't see the problem. I mean, I recognize there is this thinning vertex, this thinning crown. I, I recognize that. I mean, I, I was the one that pointed it out. I made the video, but what's going on up there? But I just don't see the problem. I mean, look at me. I mean, I put a little bit of pomade in my hair and I'm not shining a light on it. It looks pretty normal to me. I, <laughs> it's just funny because there's like, <laughs> I understand there's 1,500 subscribers now. I get that. I guess that's a lot of people. And out of that 1,500 people, even if only 5% feel very strongly that I need to do something about my hair, I just think that those people are maybe perhaps the most vocal out of the 1,500. The people who want me to do something about my hair, I don't know. I just have a feeling that the, ma the majority of the 1,500 people that subscribe to my channel they don't feel the same way as those people constantly tell me that I need to do something about my hair. Again, I'm not in denial. It's not like I'm denying the fact that I am losing my hair, the fact that my hair is thinning and my hairline is going back. I mean, I, I acknowledge that's happening, but to worry about it, to, to do something about it, to, to go to the Czech Republic and pay $2,000 for a hair transplant or that I, that I need to shave it off or something like that. Like, I just don't see that. And I could be wrong, but I think out of the 1,500 subscribers here, I would actually speculate that most of you actually agree with me. That you can agree with me and say, you know what? Yeah, so what? Your hair, you're losing your hair slowly but surely, but it looks fine. You don't have to freak out about it. You're making it work. It's fine. Like, I think that's the voice of reason that's not being heard. <laughs> I think, and, and please know that perhaps if you want a full dose of this channel, you have to read the comments too. Now, when I read the comments, I'm never disturbed or worried or anything like that. I, but I think that to get the full effect of what this channel is about, you have to read the comments. Knowing that so much of the content I do, what, you know, uh, two thirds of it is based on the comments that people leave. So, you know, and I don't make a video for every comment that people leave. But so many of them are even just simple comments basically telling me just to shave it off and get it over with or go to the Czech Republic and get a hair transplant or I need to get on some kind of drug. And it's just funny because I'm like, really? I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to care? Are, are you looking at this? I mean, it really doesn't look bad. Except for when I specifically show you how bad it is. But it was funny because like uh, this weekend, my friend Dave, he turned 40. And so we had this surprise birthday party for him and my family was there and they took some pictures of, of our family and by the time we get home, there, those pictures are on Facebook. And I looked at myself and I thought, no one would ever look at those pictures of me and think, oh man, Nick's losing his hair. He needs to get his act together. He needs to do something about his hair. Oh man. I actually thought, man, those are pretty good pictures of me. I, I, feel, I feel good about myself. Uh, I thought, yeah, I just got back from Florida. I'm pretty tan. And, and uh, you know, despite me at times thinking, uh, I'm not quite as thin as I want to be. But, you know, when I finish this video, I'm about to go run two miles. I mean, I'm staying in shape. I'm feeling good about myself. I have a, a healthy self-esteem. And I'm just not worried about this at all. So... <laughs> I just wanted to commemorate this moment to say, you know what? I just don't think that my hair loss is a, a, a problem and that I need to do something about it. I mean, I think the voice of reason would say that anyone in my situation really doesn't have anything to worry about. You start losing your hair, it starts thinning out. Okay, you recognize it and you know, you make sure you have the right kind of haircut and style it the right way to where it doesn't show it off, show off the hair loss. But I mean, I'm, I'm right. I know this, but I, I, I think it's one of those things. It's like this. When I was in Florida last week, I saw this bumper sticker at a store, one of those stores where you buy, you know, souvenirs. And it said something like this. Why is it the people who are the most closed minded have the biggest, biggest mouth or something like that? 
And I think it goes back to that. I think the majority, the 1,500 of my subscribers who agree that I have no reason to freak out about my hair, just keep doing what I'm doing and it's fine. I think those people are the ones that are not commenting and saying it. And that's fine. I'm not needing anyone to say that in the comments. But I just think that the people who have the biggest opinions and are freaking out on my behalf, even though there is no reason to freak out, those are the people who tend to leave the most confident comments telling me to do something different. Okay? But those of you who normally aren't commenting, I'm not telling you to comment, I'm just saying, this video is for you. Those of you who realize it's no big deal, it's fine, really, it's fine. Yes, I pointed out my flaws under the biggest microscope I could find, but this is the, the version of Nick Shell that people know in real life. This is what they see. They don't see this. They're not staring at this. They see this. And that's the version of reality that I see. I'm not worried about it. Are you?